Stay tuned after this brief message from Airbus Helicopters. There's an air of optimism at this year's Heli Expo show, but it's very definitely cautious optimism. Manufacturers like Airbus seem reluctant to prematurely report the recovery of troubled sectors of the rotorcraft industry, like offshore support. But the European airframer is willing to acknowledge some movement in what has been a stalled market. It's a very nice uh, HAI this year as we smell uh, recovery and uh, start of growth. Uh, on a number of segments, which was not the case in the two or three previous years. Um, it's not coming from the oil and gas because the, the price is still low. Uh, we think we have touched the bottom, but we want to be very prudent on any strong recovery uh, of oil and gas, and there is still a lot of overcapacity in the market. But this being said, we see around the world, especially in Asia, but not only, uh, growth. Uh, we see the EMS in uh, developing countries uh, gaining some momentum. So it's an HAI uh, with optimism. Lately, Airbus has been more proactive in trying to expand its customer base, making more of an effort to attract newcomers to the advantages of helicopter transportation. We saw a couple years ago a U.S. Bureau of Labor and Statistics report talking about the, the, the average commute times increasing in major metropolitan areas. And if you overlay kind of the number of heliports that you can have in certain cities. It's not like that all, all around the U.S., but in, in, a, in many major U.S. cities, you have easy access to heliports from airports into the cities. So we started to talk to customers who, who had that fixed wing, but didn't yet think about a helicopter. And so this was the beginning of this whole journey that we took, was to better understand how they live and how they use the jet and how would they use a helicopter. And it evolved from more of a commuter, okay, we, we'll have a, a helicopter for some flights, maybe we'll charter. And in some cases, I'll be honest, we didn't get a sale, but we convinced them to charter a helicopter. And then it's evolved to, well, you know what? We have the helicopter and we'll use it more like a car. And that's very dependent on the regions. Here in Texas, it's very easy. Jerry Jones, as an example, in the Dallas Cowboys franchise, they bought an H-145 from us. And initially it was, well, we'll fly major sponsors, or we'll fly other NFL owners, to actually it's their daily commute. When they go to a local high school football game, they fly their helicopter. When they go to work, because their offices are in Frisco, they live in Dallas, the stadium is in Arlington, they could be six or seven hours just in the car in a day where it's 15 to 20 minutes in the helicopter. So we're discovering this new mode of, of utilization of the helicopter. Meanwhile, back in Europe, Airbus's development teams are busy preparing the new H-160 aircraft for service entry. The twin-engine model couldn't make the trip to Dallas because it's too deeply into the flight test process. We passed 360 flight hours on the two prototypes which are flying, and we are very busy uh, with the development which is making great progress. Uh, this product is a game changer. Uh, it's a product which has been designed uh, with experience and initiatives coming from other industries. We have worked heavily on the industrialization of the product, so the innovation is not only on the product itself, but as well on the way it's going to be manufactured and the way it's going to be supported. So the value proposition is going to be better for the customer. It's designed from the very inception to serve the markets that it's designed for, and it will prove to be competitive. That's basically what we will bring to the market. 